so great to be here with y'all. Uh, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for your support of Pre-K for SA, a great investment in the children of San Antonio. Of course, everyone is excited tonight. It's great to see so many folks out here. Uh, let me just say right away that we're not going to declare victory right now because we only have the early vote, and it's still, I think it's 87 or so votes apart. Uh, we're going to wait for the election, vote to, election day vote to come in uh, before we uh, declare victory. Uh, but I do think that, we're, that it's looking very good, and I think San Antonians have made the right decision tonight. First, uh, I wanted to begin by thanking uh, everyone who's been a part of this campaign. Um, and uh, let me recognize, of course, our council representative, Cal Councilman Ray Saldana and Councilman Diego Madonna. And the councilman who actually was on the Brain Power Task Force and the chair of the Education uh, Excellence, El Excellence Committee, Councilman Ray Lopez. You know, this was a, a great effort because it had so many folks, a cross-section of San Antonians supporting it, including all of our former mayors. And so I want us to give a big round of applause to all of our former mayors, but particularly to Mayor Parker. I think, uh, you know, hanging out with Mayor Cockrell on election night means that you won the election. So uh, I'm going to try and do it as much as I can. Uh, I also, I want to thank... Uh, all of the folks who served on the Brain Power Committee Task Force, and I especially want to thank Charles Bott and Joe Robles, who co-chaired the effort that gave us pre-K for SA. They did a great job, and it was because they helped construct a great proposal that I believe the voters, by the end of the night, will have said yes to it. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of uh, the Business groups, uh, I know some of them are represented here tonight from uh, USAA, HEB, Toyota, uh, Valero, New Star, The Spurs, uh, Rackspace. Rackspace is here in the crowd. Let's thank Rackspace. I want to thank all of the Chambers of Commerce. We had seven, the seven largest Chambers of Commerce in the And I know I saw Richard Bennett. Richard's here somewhere. Let's thank Richard in the Greater Chamber. Yvonne, Dr. Yvonne Katz in the Women's Chamber are represented here tonight. The Alamo Colleges that did a great uh, resolution in, in support of pre-K education. I also want to thank the school districts who supported us, uh, SISD in Harlandale. I know uh, Patty Radel is here. Thank you to Patty and all the trustees. I, I want to thank as well uh, all of the folks who worked uh, in my office and on the campaign trail for this initiative. I want to begin by thanking uh, Gene Russell, who is here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I got into office, uh, I said that I, I thought we needed to do three things to make San Antonio an even greater city. That we need to ensure that we, we invest in young people so that they can create a brain power community, that we need to attract 21st century jobs to San Antonio, and that we need to make San Antonio the most livable city in the United States. And Gene was the one that pushed us to make sure that we lived up to the promise on education. So thank you very much, Gene. Before I forget, I, I'm going to recognize the other campaign staff and office staff, but I also wanted to especially recognize the folks from COPS Metro Alliance, because they're here. You know, long before it was fashionable to link human development with economic development, it was COPS Metro that had it right. They were ahead of their time, and in the late 90s, they took up to the legislature what they called the Better Jobs Act, the ability for a city to invest in its human capital. And this is the fruition of that. It took a little bit of time, but it was still the right thing to do. So thank you for the vision and the hard work, Cobbs Metro Alliance. Thank y'all very much. 
I also want to recognize, uh, of course, Jed Mabius from my office, and Francis Gonzalez, and Sarah McClordan. I know that they're here. Thank you all for the great work that you all have done. I want to recognize my hybrid staffer these days, my chief of staff who was on leave, Robbie Greenblum. Yeah. I want to recognize, of course, our campaign, our fearless campaign manager, Christian Archer. For a great job, a job well done. I know that in the last few days we were sweating bullets, but you know, Christian's done a great job. Uh, and we're going to win tonight because of his hard work. Yeah. And of course, I want to recognize Lonnie Esparza and all of the volunteers. All of the volunteers who have helped make this uh, just a successful effort. We also have some folks that I'm sure are here, Matthew Schwigger and Michael Montano uh, and Matt Jones and others who helped out. I want to recognize Frank Burney who was a, a great component of our victory, a very steady hand, uh, even when we had a bumpy road. So thank you, Frank. Uh, and of course, I want to recognize uh, KGB Texas, uh, Jeff Coyle and Katie Harvey. Thank you all for the media effort. They did a fantastic job. As well as Jim Douglas, who is also back here. Thank you. Terry Baker Wells. And all of our ambassadors, Terry Baker Wells and all of our ambassadors who just did a fantastic job getting out there in the community and producing this. And I know I, where's Dwayne Robinson? Where's Dwayne? There he is. Dwayne did a great job for us. And thank you, Dwayne, for getting out there and making a difference in the campaign. And they were working all the way up through 7 o'clock tonight. I, I also want to give a big thank you to our city staff. You know, as, as elected officials, uh, we're policy makers, but the ones who are charged with carrying out the day-to-day -day operations of the city, of course, are the city manager and her staff. And we have the greatest city manager in the United States, Cheryl Summers, is here tonight. Cheryl is here tonight. And it was because of her hard work, we brought her a proposal, and she turned that with her staff into a workable, a workable proposal for the voters to consider. And it was because of her hard work and the hard work of our education coordinator, Rebecca Flores, that we had a successful effort. They really gave the voters something that they could digest and understand. So, so thank you very much. Peter Zanoni, if he's here tonight, I'm not sure he's here. I know, I know Peter's had a lot of sleepless nights. Have I missed anybody? <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody. I've introduced the whole room? All right. Well, of course, uh, we're, very, we're cautiously optimistic. We like the early vote. We believe that the gap is going to widen in our favor on election day. And let me say that tonight is a very special night for me. I want to thank my wife, Erica, and Karina. Because, as all of y'all know, all of us have a family. We know that when someone is away and working on something, that there's a, a price that is paid for that. And I, I really want to thank my beautiful wife and my lovely daughter for putting up with it. <laughs> they always steal the show. This is too small time for her. That's right. Uh, so this is a very special night for all of us uh, because tonight my brother was elected to the United States Congress. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're so proud. I'm so proud, of course, of Joaquin. I'm excited for the future in terms of him going up to D.C. and. In a few moments, I'm actually going to leave to go introduce him. And as y'all can understand, that's very meaningful for me to join my mother and my brother and my dad. But before I do go, I want to say that I believe that we're going to win. And today, San Antonio said very clearly that we're not just thinking about the next two years. We're thinking about the next 20 years. And that we know 
that in order for San Antonio to be a successful, competitive 21st century city, that we have to invest in people. We need to ensure that we create brain power in our community. Those communities that create it will be those that thrive, and those that don't will fall behind. And San Antonio is sending a message to every city in the United States and the world that it means business when it comes to economic prosperity by investing in our young people. What we've said today is that we will create a generation of San Antonians from north to south, east and west, who are well educated, who are ready to take on the 21st century, that as a city, we will take a backseat to no one when it comes to educating our young people. So, tonight, as we, we look optimistically and believe that we're gonna come out on top, we say that each and every child needs to be blessed with a great education. They deserve it. And if they work hard, we're gonna work hard for them. And today was about creating opportunity. All of us are gonna be the better for it. Tonight we came together as one San Antonio that has one destiny that says we're gonna be great, we're gonna be excellent, and we're gonna do it by investing in the youngest among us. Yeah. Thank you.